Hi there, SmartSuite community. This is Peter Novosel, SmartSuite CTO and co-founder. And I had an idea for combining a couple of things that I thought was interesting, and I just wanted to create a quick video and show it to you. So we've recently added a new field type called button. And button allows you to dynamically construct URLs based on information that you've got in your SmartSuite records. Now, there's also been a lot of talk recently about AI, specifically open AI, and the ability to automatically generate content, blog posts, and all of that sort of thing. And it came to mind that we could combine the two with an external technology. In this case, I'm going to show you Zapier, uh, but this could be make.com as well. To take that button click and tell Zapier to get some information from SmartSuite, send it to OpenAI to generate content, and then take that generated content and reinsert it into your SmartSuite record. I thought that would be kind of a fun workflow. So let's take a look at how we make this happen. The first thing that we have to do in our app is add the button. And here I've already got one. I'm just going to show you the configuration settings. You see that we have button type. And if we scroll down a little bit, we can see a preview of the formula that I've already entered. I can click on edit formula and we can see that I've got this big, long Zapier webhook URL. And then we've got some parameters posted onto the end, actually just an ID. And we're going to place this record's auto number into that URL so that we can determine which record we need to go retrieve once we get to Zapier. Um, just a little side note, I'm replacing the... Uh, the hash symbol that's part of the auto number. It gets generated that way, so we have to remove it. So we just have a number going back on this URL. So what's going to happen is I'm going to create a new, new blog post. And let's say um, we're going to enter in a topic that will feed into OpenAI and have it generate the blog post for us. So um, Let's just ask OpenAI, how can I write an effective blog post? And we'll see what they have to say. Now, you can see that our status is draft and the blog post is empty. But when I click this generate, the one unfortunate side effect right now is that the URL is opened in a new tab. So when you do this, you have to close the tab, but you can see that it just sent some information over to Zapier. And when we close that out, we can come back here and see that, hey, what do you know? We now have a blog post. See a little bit of a preview. Let's open it up and we can see the entire content. So from just this short topic that I submitted, I get a nicely formatted response from OpenAI. So let's see how we make this happen over on the Zapier side. Here I have a pre-created Zap. I'm going to put this in edit mode in just a second. But you can see that the first thing that we do is we catch that webhook URL. So when you click on it, it makes a request to a URL that's captured here by Zapier, and then we extract that ID. We go find the record that it came from in SmartSuite based, again, on that ID that we pass. We go make the request to OpenAI, and we're using a custom webhook to do this in Zapier. And then we're going to go back and update the record in SmartSuite to place the blog content and also to flip the status to complete. So if we edit this Zap, we can see how this is all configured. So the webhook is easy. All you have to do is create the inbound webhook, and they give you the URL, which you can copy, and then subsequently test. And you can see I tested here and received an ID of one back. And with that ID, now you can set up your account and then set up the action. And here's my solution name, button webhook actions. The app is blog posts. I'm going to search by the auto number field, which is just convenient because it always exists. The search value, you can see that we're pulling in 
from the webhook. There's the query string. It's already inserted in, in that place. And then this was tested as well. And if I open that up, you can see all of the raw content that came back from SmartSuite, including the topic. Can I use OpenAI to write a blog article? Then we're going to make the request to OpenAI. This is a little bit more advanced and on the Zapier side of things. I'm using a custom request. The method is post because we're taking the body of the post, which is JSON, and sending it over to OpenAI, which you can see the URL that I'm posting to. Here is the raw JSON itself. And I'll, I'm going to write a blog post about this as well, and I'll include links to the OpenA, OpenAI API. It's hard to say. <laughs> um, they, they have a number of different parameters, and you can choose different models and how it treats and handles the, the uh, information that you send to it. But here I'm saying I want a maximum of 1,000 characters back, or 1,000 words, rather. I'm passing it the the topic in just this basic text da Vinci model. Then we insert our authorization information, say that the content type is application JSON, and then we test it. And you can see here was the response of the test that I ran a little while ago. And the result is this. It's all back in the originating application in the originating record, we see our status flip to complete, and we now have a pre-written blog post for us. Pretty cool stuff. Very excited to see what you guys come up with. Please share. More soon. Thanks a lot.